Guys, I feel sorry for Mohamed Kudus. You know why? When he comes to the national team, the Black Stars, he's been coached by Otoado. When he goes to his club side, West Ham, he's been coached by Junior Lupiteki. Both coaches are not good. Today, we're expecting a spectacular comeback for Mohamed Kudus. Goals, assists, good performances, a win just to usher Mohamed Kudus back against Leicester City. But guess what? That did not happen. And there's only one person to blame, Julian Lupiteki. West Ham, you have only one job to do. Sack him. Sack him. Because I believe that if Julian Lupiteki is still the coach or the boss, we are still not going to see that Mohamed Kudus we saw last season. Let me take you through the game. Leicester City 3, West Ham 0. And I'm also going to talk about Mohamed Kudus' performance in that game. My name is Adam. You're watching Sports Corner GA. So guys, quickly, let's jump into it. See, from the lineup, you could see West Ham were going to lose that game. Because I don't get why Paqueta was fit and was on the bench. Emerson was fit and was on the bench. You have Antonio fit and was also on the bench. And he played Wan Bissaka as a left back. You and I know Wan Bissaka, the right back, Rano. he can't play. So why do you play the player at left back? Then you play Danny Ings. Danny Ings as a striker. Meanwhile, you have Nicolas Falkirk on the bench. You have Antonio on the bench. Then you play Susek as the number 10. Meanwhile, you have Paqueta on the bench. He only brought them in when they considered the second goal. This shows you that the coach, he is confused. If West Ham won today's game, they should sack Julian Lupiteki because the loss that happened today was his fault. It was his fault. And I'm going to say this because I said it at the beginning of the season that, see, Julian Lupiteki is not using most of the players' well, especially Mohamed Kudus. That is why we are not seeing the Mohamed Kudus of last season. Mohamed Kudus is struggling because he's not fitting into the system Julian Lupiteki is playing. This is, this is simple. We all watched that game. See, trust me, Ghanaians watched today's game between Leicester City and West Ham. And in fact, see, I'm going to give Leicester City their flowers. New manager bounce effect worked. Tactics worked. The fans also helped. Everything worked. And you see, all Canus, that guy is a baller. All Canus is a baller. This West Ham team, defensively, they are bad. Position-wise, they are bad. No awareness, no anticipation. When you come to the midfield, you, you allow Ndidi. Ndidi control this Western midfield. How? 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 And you see, football is a team sport. You don't expect one player to magically carry the whole team on his shoulders. That cannot happen. So you see Mohamed Kudus suffering in the setup. And then what? In the first half, Kudus was playing at the left wing. Second half, he was brought to the right wing. How do you expect Kudus to produce, you know, performance? No, like performance that we all want when you have him playing alongside someone like Juan Bissaka at the left back. It is not possible, bro. Bro, I was watching the game and I was so pissed. Bro, I was so pissed. Yes, the officiating was not good. It did not go in the favor of West Ham. That's fine. That is fine. But Nigerian Lupiteki today had it wrong from the start. From the lineup, I don't care if the players who were on the bench were not fully fit. Once they were on the bench, they were fully fit. You brought them into the second half. Why did you not start them in the first half? You brought Emerson into the game in the second half and he came back to his left back position. Why didn't you start him in the, in, in the first half? Julian Lupiteki, I mean, I don't even get all this. Pakota came into the game second half and played this number 10. Antonio came in the second half. So I don't get why all these players were bent. What, if, what, what were you trying to do? What information or what, what were you trying to send out? That what? You want to bench your players? You want to send a message out? I mean, it was a disaster today. And congratulations to Leicester City. They did so well. And, and see, West Ham, there are a lot of coaches out there. They should just go and go and get some coach. Because Julian Lupiteki, he will not help the team. If they don't take time, they will enter into relegation. As simple as that. Let's talk about Mohamed Kudus. The comeback we all expected did not happen. Yes. But then Mohamed Kudus, he, he, he was good in that game. He was sharp. His first touch was on point. Mohamed Kudus and Jared Bowen were the only ones actually doing something. They wanted something to happen. They were the only two players. When you see them on the ball, you know something is about to happen. 
Kudus, honestly, see, I'm saying this. If this West Ham team have a good coach, every single player will shine, including Kudus, because today he was that guy. He played the left wing, later came to the right wing, and he was a menace. He was a menace to the Leicester City defence. Crosses were on point. There were times that I felt like he should have gotten an assist in that game. Kudus was so good in the game that, see, I felt like the players were not even helping the case. Because in times where I, I felt like some of the passes should be going to Kudus because he was free, it wasn't going there. And all boils down to coaching and also instruction. So Kudus today, even though the comeback was not what we all expected, he played very well in my own opinion. He held his own. <laughs> Kudus was so good when it comes to his dribbling, his passing, his crosses. Kudus was so good. He was so excellent today. And guys, let me take you through Mohamed Kudus' performance and numbers so that you appreciate his performance because, I mean, a lot of people will make it look like Kudus did not play well. That is why West Ham did, did not win. But I'm going to say it again. You see, football, football, the way you need to understand football, football is a team sport. That is why it's not only one player playing it. It's 11 players on the pitch. You, you get my point. Let's, let's take a look at Mohamed Kudus' performance in that game very quickly. He was rated 7.3. That alone should tell you his performance in that game. Now, he played 79 minutes. He had a total touch of 62. Accurate passes completed was 31 out of 33, accumulating to 94%. Pass accuracy, 31 out of 33. It should tell you how good he was in today's game. Let's continue. Four key passes. As I said earlier, he should have gotten at least an assist today. Let's go on. Um, crosses successful, two out of five. Long ball successful, one out of one. If you take a look at his shot on target, it was one block shot, two. Um, grand loss one was eight out of 15. Dribble attempted successful, five out of nine. And Mohamed Kudus was rated 7.3. Mohamed Kudus was everywhere in that game. Only that I believe the, the system and whatever happened, the instruction, it just didn't work. It just didn't work, in my own opinion. And West Ham, see, there are a lot of coaches who are currently jobless. There are coaches who are jobless. They should go in for those coaches. Eric Ten Hag, he's around. Go in for Eric Ten Hag. I believe Eric Ten Hag, if he gets this Newcastle team, you people go feel him. You go feel him for the EPL inside. You, ah, bro, like, Charlie, I watched the game and it got to a time I was like, how? How is one Bissaka playing left back? How? Danny Inks, how is he? How, how did this pack that game? You have to check playing number 10. How? You have all these players playing their wrong positions. <laughs> you, you expect Mohamed Kudus to perform? Oh, no, 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 no. You're not going to perform. The comeback is not what we expected. And you see, a lot of Ghanaians sat down to watch this game. And I'm sure most of them are going to be disappointed. In fact, most of them will be calling for the head of Julian Lupiteki. He should be sad. I'm telling you, Julian Lupiteki should be sad. I already predicted Leicester City were going to win this game because of the new manager they had. But honestly, this bad, 3-0, oh, no, 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 no. It'd be, it be too bad, bro. It'd be too bad. It'd be very bad, in my own opinion. But then my man of the match will go to El Canus. He gave an assist and also scored a goal in the game. See, that guy be baller. El Canus be baller. As, as, as simple as that, straightforward. So, guys, this is where I ended. My name is Adam. I'll make sure to see you in the next one. Charlie, we go vibe.